Here is the whole process to make a sourdough gluten-free bread. Learn how easy it is to make the gluten-free sourdough starter with no need to discard any of the sourdough starter and the simple method to make a loaf of bread that has a very crunchy crust and a very nice and tasty crumb. So let us start with the gluten-free sourdough starter. Place in a large glass jar one tablespoon of water and two tablespoons of gluten-free flour. Mix the ingredients well until you get a dough of this consistency. Cover the jar with a lid and then let the gluten-free sourdough starter rest for 24 hours at room temperature in a warm place. After 24 hours, repeat the same process. Add the same amount of water and flour that you added previously. I am using the King Arthur gluten-free measure for measure flour and I got excellent results. Repeat the same process every 24 hours for another six days. Adding only these amounts of water and flour at a time will allow you to keep all the sourdough starter in the jar. And you won't need to discard any of the sourdough starter in the process. After eight days, add a quarter cup of water and a quarter cup of gluten-free flour and let the sourdough starter rest for at least eight hours. After eight hours, the sourdough starter should look like this one and the smell should be very intense. So now you're ready to start your bread. Pour in a mixing bowl 300 grams or one and a quarter cups of water. Add 90 grams or a third of a cup of gluten-free sourdough starter and nine grams or two teaspoons of sea salt. As you keep mixing the ingredients, add 450 grams or three and five eighths of a cup of gluten-free flour. Mix well all the ingredients. Then use a dough whisk to incorporate all the ingredients. Use your hands to finish kneading on your working table for a couple minutes or until you have a cohesive ball of dough. There is no reason to knead this dough for a long period of time since it does not contain gluten at all. Place the dough back on your glass bowl and cover the dough with a plastic wrap. Let the dough rest overnight in a warm place. The next day, the dough should have risen a little like this one. So, take a couple of silicone bowl scrapers and very carefully remove the dough out of the bowl. Place the dough on a parchment paper. Sprinkle some gluten-free flour on top and score the bread to your liking. I am only scoring it with a little cross, but you can make the pattern you like. Now, place the dough in a Dutch oven that has been preheated at 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 230 degrees Celsius for about 30 minutes. Cover the Dutch oven with the lid and place it back in the oven for about 45 minutes. Remove the lid of the Dutch oven and keep baking for 10 more minutes or until the bread is golden brown. As soon as you take the bread out of the oven, place it on a cooling rack and wait for a couple hours before it's slicing it. This bread has a very soft crumb and a very crunchy crust. It is indeed a great substitution to any regular sourdough bread if you cannot eat gluten at all. Enjoy! Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new video every week.